If you're looking for the best TV, you're most likely focused on OLED TVs, such as their reputation for awesome performance. But OLED TVs aren't all born equal, despite the fact that almost all of them use the same LG Display Source panel. So, which should you buy? You're about to find out because we've run the rule over every major OLED TV released and have produced this list of the very best that are available right now. We have listed the top 6 OLED TVs and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, legitpick.com. Number 6. Vizio H1 OLED The latest Vizio OLED TV, officially called the H1, is a cheaper alternative to the more premium screens that LG and Sony have been producing for the past few years. For folks who don't want to spend a fortune, the Vizio OLED has most of the same key features and it offers largely similar performance as other OLEDs for hundreds of dollars less, albeit with a less bright output that most other OLEDs surpass. In our test, we found it coped perfectly well with most lighting conditions short of direct sunlight beaming in. As we said in our review, the Vizio offers exceptional black levels and an impressively thin chassis. The benefits of OLED are naturally present too, including exceptional contrast and wider viewing angles. The Vizio OLED is also often on sale, bringing its $1,399 price tag down as low as $899. This is way lower than the likes of LG C2, so if you want OLED on a budget, this display truly delivers. Number 5. LG C1 Peruse other best TV lists and you'll likely find LG C1 near the top pretty frequently. LG is by far the leading OLED manufacturer and the C1 represents a sweet spot for most people looking for a balance of price and performance. Across all of your content consumption, the C1 provides an excellent contrast ratio thanks to its super deep black levels. For movie watching, LG offers filmmaker mode which turns off motion smoothing and tones down the vibrance and brightness to make the picture look more like what you'd expect at the theater. The C1 supports all the most popular flavors of HDR as well as the two dominant variable refresh rate technologies, G-Sync and FreeSync, which gamers will appreciate. In fact, the C1 has a lot to offer gamers. All four HDMI ports support HDMI 2.1, giving you enough to hook up a PS5 and Xbox Series X for 4K 120fps gameplay. Plus, it boasts a 1 millisecond response time in gaming mode, which cuts down potentially game-ruining lag. It's not the brightest TV around, but that's also one of the few drawbacks that come with the OLED TVs across the board. Aside from that quibble, the C1 has just about anything anyone could ask for, and it won't require ill-gotten crypto funds to afford it. Number 4. LG G2 OLED The new version of LG's premium G-series OLED TVs is here, and it's brilliant. The LG G2 OLED improves upon last year's G1 in almost every regard to up the game when it comes to the screen tech. Brightness has been a long-time OLED shortcoming, but in our testing, we found that the LG G2 reached 590.54 nits, way above the G1's 412.05, albeit not quite on par with the Sony's A80J 713.65 result. And brightness is just one aspect of its performance that's impressed us, with color accuracy, color gamut and lag times all flaring well in our testing. And of course, you get the deep lags we've come to expect from OLED. This being one of the LG's Gallery Series TVs, its design is also something to behold with a minimalistic silver frame that gives it a near bezel-less experience. It's also well equipped with ports, sounds better than almost any OLED we've ever heard and offers a full-featured smart TV platform that should satisfy most households, without quite being the best. The LG C2, which we're currently testing, may end up being a better purchase for most people. But until then, this is the best OLED TV you can buy. Number 3. Samsung S95B Gloriously slim with class-leading luminosity, this first QD OLED from Samsung is eye-catching in every sense and could be the groundbreaking new TV for PS5 and Xbox Series X we've all been waiting for. Combining the characteristic OLED black levels with the high peak brightness and the expanded color volume of Quantum Dot technology, the S95B is a superb choice particularly if you prefer to use your TV in a room with high levels of ambient light. All four HDMI inputs are version 2.1 and support 4K 120fps sources, while there's also VRR with NVIDIA and AMD FreeSync support plus ALLM. Samsung also has a dedicated Game Hub interface, 
input lag is low in game mode, we measured it at 9.6 milliseconds. HDMI 3 also has eARC for use with a Dolby Atmos soundbar. The smart platform of choice here is Samsung's Tizen. It has a wide variety of streaming services on tap as well as Samsung's own TV Plus IP delivered channel service. It's also compatible with SmartThings connected devices. Of course, the key attraction of the S95B is its QD OLED panel and matching neural quantum processor. The latter uses AI-driven optimization to manage sound and vision, so you don't need to think too much about it. The image quality is spectacular, the level of detail is excellent, and its HDR performance is remarkable. We measured peak HDR brightness in excess of 1400 nits. Unfortunately, there's no support for Dolby Vision, but you do get HLG, HDR10, and HDR10 Plus compatibility. It's not just peak HDR brightness which glows, the set's average picture level is high and this makes it easy to view in bright rooms, but can make for a fatiguing watch. It's not subtle and even the game mode looks overwrought. On the plus side, 4K 120fps playback is buttery smooth. All things considered, the Samsung S95B is a highly impressive QD OLED debut. Its peak brightness is phenomenal and color depth is high. It never looks particularly cinematic though, and even in game mode, pictures can seem oversaturated. Some will love the presentation though, and for some, it might just be the best OLED TV going. Number 2. Sony XR-A95K QD OLED, which is designed to blend the best qualities of both OLED and QLED, is finally here in the form of Sony's A95K. OLED has become the premium TV technology of choice thanks to its perfect blacks, pixel-level contrast control, near-perfect viewing angles, super-thin designs, and increasingly aggressive pricing. And QD OLED is expected to overcome its main limitation, brightness. If you are therefore expecting the A95K to be vastly brighter than the best standard OLED TVs, you might be slightly disappointed. Side by side with LG's G2, there is little to choose between the two in terms of peak brightness. But while the A95K isn't brighter than the brightest traditional OLED TV, it does deliver better bright highlights with subtle shades and colors that is non-QD OLED rival mess. In less cultured hands, the added color vibrancy of QD OLED's quantum dots could lead to exaggerated vibrancy, but Sony's careful, authenticity-led approach means the A95K is balanced and neutral, and the fine detail, sharpness, and three-dimensionality that its flagship OLEDs exhibited remains. The bundled Bravia Cam, a camera that magnetically attaches to the rear of the set and peeks over the top of the screen, isn't terribly useful now and possibly never will be. But for picture quality, the A95K is a star. It sounds great by TV standards too, thanks to its bespoke Acoustic Surface Audio Plus technology, which utilizes actuators that interceptibly vibrate the whole screen to make sound. In short, for movies and TV shows, in SDR and HDR, and at all resolutions, the Sony A95K is exceptional. Hardcore gamers, particularly those on Xbox Series X, will still be better served by an LG G2, which has more HDMI 2.1 sockets, a Dolby Vision game mode, and an HGIG setting. But for everyone else, this is, albeit a relatively slim margin, the new gold standard. Number 1. LG C2 while there are certainly reasons that you might want to opt for a rival, LG's OLEDs have been the go-to premium TV of choice for most people for years now. That means there is huge anticipation for each year's new models, particularly those in the C-series, which have typically been the sweet spot between performance, features, and price. That said, last year saw a picture quality gap emerge between the C-series and the brighter G-series. There is a gap this year too. This year's C2 has the brightness booster technology of last year's G1, while the G2 takes things to brightness booster max levels. Having put both the G2 and C2 through their paces, we are happy to proclaim that while the G2 certainly justifies its position as the top of LG's OLED range, the C2 is still the model that most people should buy. While not as bright as the G2, the new C2 is brighter than all of last year's LG OLEDs. There is noticeably more punch to the whole image, which pops much more effectively, and there is significantly greater contrast and dark detail. Crucially, there's no downside either. There's nothing artificial to the image, it's lifted, but naturally with no detriment to the colors or black depths. The C2's punchier, more attacking delivery is a definite improvement over the C1 too. Although, there is also a slight rattle from the speaker cabinet when the set is challenged by very deep bass, which is a bit of a shame. 
as is now expected of LG's premium OLEDs, the feature set is particularly flawless, particularly where next-gen gaming is concerned. Those with seriously discerning tastes and the budget to wish to satisfy them will find it worth leveling up to the G2 or Sony's A95K, but the C2 is the current bang for buck champ. We've now tested the C2 at 42-inch, 65-inch, and 77-inch sizes, and each version has been award-winningly exceptional. Even the 42-inch version, which along with the 48-inch model, goes a little less better than the larger variants. So, that wraps up our list of the best OLED TVs. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which OLED TV you're going to choose. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please get this video a like, and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.